filled by the Lord with the spirit of understanding. Blessed Bernard ministered streams of clear teaching to the people of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening to you all. God has called us to be holy and to be faithful. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Bernard, a sister and abbot who found almost more than 68 monasteries all, all, all throughout the Europe. And he was a great preacher and great spiritual leader who brought the renewal, spiritual renewal in the monastic life. And he brought a great way to how to defend the truth taught by the Catholic Church, opposing a lot of schism, opposing a lot of heresy against the teaching of the church. And he was a champion of promoting the church teaching the people of the, the hearts of the people who are ignorant of the church teaching and truth. Let's acknowledge our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with a zeal for your house, and a light shining and burning in your church, grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Sirach. He who fears the Lord will do this. He who is practiced in the law will come to wisdom. Mother-like, she will meet him. Like a young bride, she will embrace him, nourish him with the bread of understanding, and give him the water of learning to drink. He will lean upon her and not fall, he will trust in her and not be put to shame. She will exalt him above his fellows, and in the midst of the assembly she will open his mouth and fill him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding, and clothe him in the, with the robe of glory. Joy and gladness he will find, an everlasting name he will inherit. The word of the Lord. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart I treasure your promise, that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes.
Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever lives in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you loved them even as you loved me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. We are all afraid of something at one point of life. Some of us may be afraid of darkness, or some of us may be afraid of high place, very tall place, or some of us may be afraid of rocky path when we walk in some places. Some of us may be afraid of water, or rain, or thunderstorm, or anything you can say. So we all have our own fears. Our fear makes us to be weak. And our fear makes us that we should seek someone who can make us to be strong. We can be some, with someone. Like if you are afraid of water, then you really could hold up someone who knows how to swim, how to save you from water. And if you are afraid of walking in the unknown way into the forest, then you need someone to talk with so that you have a companion, just like that. The greatest fear would be losing up our, our own self. And we are afraid that we want to have it, we want to preserve it, and we still keep on making ourselves, oh, I'm strong, I'm not that weak. So we don't seek sometimes God's help. We think, oh, I can handle it. I know how to go about. I know how to manage that one. Christ is telling us that he is with us. We don't need to be afraid of anything. As God the Father is with his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ is also present when we say, I am with my God. And Christ is always with us. 
no matter what is going on around us his presence is not leaving us his presence is does not dispel is always present always with us whenever we seek we can experience the presence of christ even though some of us are watching the eucharistic mass through the television or computer or online you are always at this altar you are united in the altar whenever we offer the holy mass all those who are faithful all those who hold on to the catholic teaching the fullness of truth are united at the sacred altar even though some are not able to come even though some are sick or choose not to come for some reason we understand but they are united at this sacred altar so those who are present here you are physically and mentally and spiritually present present here so as to receive jesus so as to witness for christ so as to pray for those who are unable to come for the mass and that's what makes us to be union as christ mentions that as you and i are one they may be one that means we are united with christ in spirit nothing can separate us and that's the reason st paul beautifully tells us nothing can who can separate us from the love of god nothing can separate us we are together one in christ Through the intercession of St. Bernard, let us ask for God's graces. That the church be a sign of hospitality for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the ministries in our parish be open to people of all abilities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are sick find comfort in the company of their fellow parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died find a place at the eternal banquet of the Heavenly Father, we pray to the Lord. Bill Deere is being especially remembered at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we beseech your mercy through the intercession of St. Bernard. Lead us to understand your revelation the truth that brought by our lord jesus christ who lives and reigns forever and ever Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. You become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for the goodness which is the wine we offer you. Fruit of the land and all of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So be done. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted with God Almighty Father. May God be sacrificed as a praise for you. Praise for you, God. Praise for you. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace. As we celebrate the memorial of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed, who strove to bring order and concord to your church through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks, O Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bernard, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of our host, heaven and earth, full of your glory, host and on the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, host and on the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are helpless worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles Thompson, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Philip, dear, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Bernard, whom we remember today, Saint Vincent de Paul, our patron, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we will be all, always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The the power and God, all yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins for the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all always. Lamb of God, you take over the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take over the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes over the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof. The only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
as a father loves me so i also love you remain in my love says the lord let us pray may the food we have received o oh lord as we honor us in burner work its effect in us so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word who lives and reigns forever and ever amen i wish you all the happy feast day of st bernard well a, a small and humble request um if you are comfortable to clean the space that you have used the pew and the kneeler that you have used the cleaners and the, and the cleaning supplies are kept in the small table so you are most welcome to clean out of caring and out of charity for our brothers and sisters the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you all the father the son the holy spirit go in peace glorifying the lord by your life thanks be to god Sir Michael the Archangel, Sir Michael the Archangel.